Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Power of number 11, number 2, and number 3. Okay. Ah, number 16. 16 in tarot is the tower card. Doom, doom, doom. Tower card. The connection that you had with this person, Scorpio, was really in truth built on a weak foundation. You might have thought it was solid, but I don't feel that this person's life was solid. They had distractions around them. Again, living in the moment. They did have feelings for you. They still have feelings for you. I do feel that this person taught you some lessons, but then again, I feel you have taught this person a valuable lesson. Even if they haven't come to you just yet to give you that apology or to acknowledge what they did. Some of you could be dealing with our astrological next door neighbor, Libra. Others of you could be dealing with another Scorpio or possibly a Sagittarius born in the month of November. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius <clears throat> or a Pisces, excuse me, somebody's throat chakra besides mine. <clears throat> I think somebody wants to say something to you, Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. That's what I wanted to say. You might be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. You might be dealing with one of the fixed signs of the Zodiac, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and again, possibly another Scorpio. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini, looking through the numbers here, Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June, strong Scorpio energy coming in through the number 13 again, Pisces, more Pisces energy through the number 12. However, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. They've been in the hanged man mode. I'm seeing that very distinctively through the number 12, trying to gain clarity and or a new perspective. Maybe you've been trying to gain a clearer perspective on this connection. And what does it mean? What was it for? Did this person ever love you? Yes, they did. They did. I think you knocked them for a loop. They have never, ever, ever, ever met somebody like you. And they never will after this. Mm -mm. They're not even going to get close. Nope. They're not even going to get close. That guilt I'm feeling off of them is so buried with inside of them. But it's going to start to erupt. I think it's already been erupting with inside of them. So the tower energy through the number 16, this person's life, I feel, was not all pulled together. They might have thought that they had their act together. They could have thought that, but a lot of them were so superficial. A lot of them were on the surface. They didn't know themselves. You made them look at themselves in the mirror.
in the last Scorpio reading, we saw that there was an element of despair. You know, I guess <laughs> I just found out we are going to be going into oh, a Mercury retrograde on August 4th of 2024. So that's going to reside for three weeks. However, we're in a Saturn retrograde. The Mercury retrograde coming up, you know, it might just help things out. Because not only will people who have hurt you, lied to you, betrayed you, Scorpio, not only are they going to be getting their karma, a lot of them will be going through this karmic cycle. And what would we know about the Mercury retrograde? A lot of times the exes or the ex-flames, ex-potential suitors, they may all start to come out of the woodwork. So... With having two planets that are going to be in retrograde, it's going to get interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to get interesting. If you are still connected with this person, do your best not to spy in on their social media, okay? Because it's really, in truth, it's all an illusion. Mm -mm. They, you know, they, they, they've been putting up, they've been playing it. Let's just put it this way. They've been playing a good game, pretending and acting like they're so happy. Mm -hmm. In truth, I feel like this person is miserable deep down inside. I feel like. They're going to do whatever it takes to come in your direction. There's going to be a lot of breakups if they're in a third party. There's going to be breakups happening left and right. Personally, I would rather see the third party leave your person. Mm -hmm. Because then that would match energetically with planet Saturn being in retrograde, somebody getting their karma, what goes around comes around. But make sure, Scorpio, you are working on your own good karma, okay? Stepping up to the plate each and every single day, doing your best, okay? Making improvements in your own life. And planet Saturn on an astrological, energetic level will reward you well, okay? Some of them, I feel, I'm seeing the judgment card in my mind's eye. Some of them could end up crying when they come back. Some of them might. And you're even going to be questioning, wondering if that person's tears are truthful. Some of you could be 21, 23, or 26 years of age. Others of you could be 31, 32, and or 36 years old. You could have been born in 1961, 1962, and or 1963. Let's see what the number 16 is bringing in. We just might see the Tower card. We could see the Justice card, possibly the High Priestess, the Empress, the Magician, the Hanged Man card, the Death card, and or the Tower card. This, again, transformation. See if this person is ready to transform. We'll see. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Scorpio's person and to them? Show me what's up. They're coming back. I told you. They're coming back. Six of Cups. The past 
is coming back. Be prepared. Prepare your energy. They could return back to you in the next six minutes, six hours, six days, or within six months' time. But I feel a lot of them will be returning before the end of the year. They held back. They held back for so long, Scorpio. You're the one that's holding on tight right now. Maybe you're holding your breath right now, whether or not this person's going to return back. Listen, you guys got to relax as much as possible. The more we are relaxed, the easier things are going to come in our direction. But I feel in truth, you guys, that this is them. They were selfish. They held back. They were greedy. Now this person, when they, when they come in, they're not going to let you go. I'm hearing Elvis Presley in my head right now, stuck like glue. Mm hmm. Because you're the Empress or the Emperor. Mm. Hearing Sinead O'Connor in my head right now, nothing compares to you. Yep. Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. However, could be dealing also too with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. And a lot of you guys could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus more specifically. <sighs> this person needs to, I keep feeling it. They need to feel you. They need to feel you in their arms. They're going to hold you so tight. I think you're going to lose your breath. Okay. You're going to lose your breath. See what's going on in their environment. Some of you guys are dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. What's going on in their environment, please? Okay, the main person. Your main person, main male, main female, main person. They're coming back. In their environment right now, they're thinking about you. Deep thoughts. I'm hearing every single day they are thinking about what are you up to. They're wondering what you're up to every day. I know I was a distraction from your pain. You could have been a distraction for them. You were there to heal. You two were supposed to heal together. You heal individually, but healing together from all of these past dramatic relationships that you guys have been through before. There were connections that you guys had, Scorpio, prior to this person that was not fully healed. So the, this person was a distraction, but you were a distraction for them as well. Remember how I said nothing compares to you? Yeah, you came closer than anybody. Now they're not going to let you go once they return back. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You know, I a lot of times with this card, I don't always take it in the literal sense. I mean, you two could have had spiritual differences, but there is a soul connection here. I feel the two of you are manifesting one another because there's like... A form of enlightenment, the crown, the Christos, the crown chakra, the corona, okay? Enlightenment, wisdom, discernment. They saw, I feel like they saw you as a shining light. That's how I feel. You were advanced. You are above them, Scorpio, intellectually. You think on a different level. 
than what this person did. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I think they're in their thoughts about what if I would have given Scorpio the commitment that they deserved. We could have been on our honeymoon. We could have been living a happily ever after. Honeymoon. And they know that they held back. They held back from you. Bottom line. There we go. Twin flame soulmate 1111 connection. They're coming back for commitment. They're coming back for a union. They're coming back to marry you. They're going to put it out there. Could be dealing with fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Virgo and Libra energy coming in through the hermit. Power of number nine. They're seeking answers within inside of themselves on how to how to put themselves, I feel, in front of you. To make you that major offer. Ace of Pentacles. They've been battling. I think they are a little bit concerned you're going to fly off the handle with them. But internally, I feel they are battling more because they're the ones that are in their thoughts about this relationship, worried about competition, wondering if there's somebody else. Because maybe, Scorpio, you don't fawn over this person maybe like you used to. So they're, they might be a little bit dumbfounded, but that's their ego. No matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. You, that's why. You came closer than anybody. Yep. What they got is like, <laughs> Scorpio, you're the diamond. You know, you're the golden goose. You're the golden Scorpio. You're the golden goat. You know, and it's like they got the plastic ring out of the Cracker Jack box. Okay? That's what they got. No one makes me feel the way you do. You are the best I ever had. There's something in your energetic force field, Scorpio, that really ignited the flame or the fire with inside of them. And they know this. Yep, look at that. You are the one and only. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. If you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.